To kick off 2018, we're gonna start a 10 part series about the top lessons that I learned last year, how they have changed my life, have made me a better person, and I believe are leading to more success today. I hope they can help you as well. This video is about following your dreams and why it's important, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. I release videos at least two times a week for engineering success, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I also vlog about my engineering career journey. That's what this 10-part series is about, the things that I have learned last year. So let's get right into it. 2017 was probably the craziest year of my life. It had many transitional elements, including leaving Vancouver, British Columbia, where I was living for four years, several life changes, lots of new things and a few things removed. I transferred to Vancouver from Chicago in the summer of 2013 and my time spent there was an incredible life changing experience. During that period, I started a side hustle, a video drone project, which led to more camera stuff with my friend Simon. We started working together. We formed a business called Capture Productions and I actually filmed about 20 weddings in 2016 and a whole bunch of other commercial projects, which led to a lot of the stuff that I'm up to now. It was a really tough decision, but in January of last year, at my five year mark with the company, I announced to my boss that I'm probably moving home to return to my family on the East Coast. I'm from Maryland, I live in Delaware now. It's where I went to school, University of Delaware. Leaving that project behind, Capture Productions, my friend Simon, and all the other great people I met in Vancouver was really, really challenging. I made a lot of friends in that four year period and I missed them a lot. So it was a lot like leaving college, four years, Awesome people, awesome memories, awesome experiences. But life moves on and sometimes different chapters bring you to different places. So I took off several months of work and in mid-April, packed up everything I owned into a single SUV. I drove all the way across the country, 3,000 miles. And for most of that drive, I didn't even listen to music, didn't even listen to podcasts. I just deeply thought about what I was gonna do when I got home, what I was gonna do in the rest of 2017. I had a plan. I was already working on the 1% Engineer Project. I was telling people about it. What's up guys, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching the first episode of the 1% Engineer Show. There was about 15 episodes produced, so it was just in the beginning and I was reconnecting with all my East Coast friends after being away for eight years because I was in Wisconsin and Chicago for about four years before Vancouver, so it had been a while. I was in contact with TEDx Wilmington telling them that I wanted to be involved and several other people. So that's a backstory of my biggest lesson of 2017. Comment below on your biggest lessons learned from 2017. We want to hear from you. Anyway, so back to the story. Before I moved home, the single biggest domino that created some of the groundwork to make this decision to move back was this video by the company called Global Degree that came out in late 2016 entitled The Seven Lessons Learned from Traveling to 72 Nations. And this was a life-changing three-minute video for me, not only because of the inspirational message that it holds about following your dreams, but there was a quote from Steve Jobs from his 2005 Stanford graduation speech about following your heart, trusting your gut, and believing in your destiny. And the quote is this, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You, you can, can only connect, connect, them connect them looking, looking backwards. backwards. So, so you, you have, have to trust, trust that the dots, dots will somehow, somehow connect in your future. future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. I watched this video over and over and over again, dozens of times, and it helped me to understand that I wasn't on the best path in Vancouver. We'll peel away more of these layers and other videos from my top lessons learned in 2017 about the importance of communication and relationships with family and loved ones. But for now, this video is all about destiny and following your dreams, following your heart. I'm emphasizing this for a couple reasons. Firstly, the biggest question I get from young engineers is how do I know which engineering major to choose? How do I know if I'm in the right one, even if I'm in the middle of my degree or nearly finished my degree or even working full time with a specific engineering background? Many students choose a major for the wrong reasons, like for money or what your parents wanted for you or what you believe is gonna have a hot job market when you finish up school. For these students, you have good reason to question if you're in the right place because you most likely are not. Many exclusively reasoning thinking, rational thinking engineers will disagree with this, which is a lot of them, and that's fine, but I'm a firm believer that you'll never be successful unless you follow your heart and go where your passions are. It's impossible for students to understand this, but you will not have massive success in your life unless you can perform in the position that you find yourself in and you will only be able to deploy that 
that performance if you really love what you're doing. And I'm a really good example of this, what's going on with me and my career right now. I've become very passionate about video marketing and business development. And a typical engineer doesn't do much of this. We work on projects, we work on technical stuff, and eventually you end up managing people. But what I'm really trying to do in my career is deviate from project engineering and really be on the marketing, the sales, the business development side, using these video skills and interviewing skills in order to help engineering firms. And it's really hard to do this. It's a big struggle for me right now. I don't really love what I'm doing and I'm trying my hardest to have some sort of position created for myself with my firm that I've only been at for about eight months, but I'm on the struggling path and I understand the importance of being emotionally connected and passionately connected to what you're doing. And I've brought all this up, but who knows what's gonna happen. And this is why I started this 1% Engineer project so I can use video to help other people. I'm very passionate about mentorship. I'm very passionate about video, very passionate about interviewing people, which is what I love to do via TEDx. So as I say all this about what's going on with my career, as I say this about what I believe is important and following your career destiny, following your dreams. I just really want you guys to think deeply about this. When you have this gut feeling about anything, whether it's a microscopic decision or a macroscopic overarching decision, like a certain college or a certain major or specific city that you wanna live in or accepting a certain job, you really have to follow your heart. You have to follow your gut. I was in a business partnership that was kind of going in different ways. I was deviating from engineering, which I do love in a lot of ways. I was so far from my family. It was really hard to maintain those relationships. I just had this gut feeling that I needed to move home. I needed to break away from Vancouver, I needed to reset my business direction and get back to a whole bunch of stuff that I love. I just think it's so important that you guys constantly put yourself in check, be self-aware. Are you on the right path? Are you following your dreams? Are you going in the right direction such that you will be happy next year, two years from now, five years from now? You really have to make sure along the way. I think starting out a new year here in 2018, it's a good time to think about all this stuff and just make sure that you're headed on the right path. When we're in situations where something may appear strong on paper, but we say it doesn't feel right, that is coming from the limbic system of your brain, the strongest part of your brain. It's connected to emotion, motivation, and memory. It's stronger than our newer homo sapien evolved brain, the neocortex, which contains language and motor functions. You can't explain why you did something in words, but you may be able to say it doesn't just feel right. It's because that inner part of your brain is more powerful for decision making. And if you aren't following your gut, but you try to convince yourself that you're doing the right thing, you will be unhappy, unfulfilled, and you won't be able to perform in that major or job, and you will be unhappy in that new city, that new whatever. And therefore, you will probably fail. So make sure that you listen to your inner voice. Make sure that you're following your heart, guys, because this is the only path to true happiness. This is the only true path to success. I hope this vlog style biggest number one lesson learned in 2017 for myself is gonna help you guys. If it did, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Let me know what was your biggest personal takeaway for 2017 as you reflect. And as always, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!